Elite Systems are bringing the ZX Spectrum back with their recreated ZX Spectrum. It's a Bluetooth Spectrum and uh, it pairs up with an Android or iOS app. I caught up with them at the Gadget Show Live 2015 and we're going to take a look at the software and then the recreated Spectrum. So um, and there are a number of features in the app but fundamentally <coughs> the one the most that everybody's going to be interested in is in here. So in this, in this uh, <coughs> work in progress version of the app we've got 10 games in there, primarily from our own catalogue. We've also got um, Simple Basic or Spectrum Basic 48K and 128K versions. The, um, the app itself works, itself works like previous apps that we've used for, for uh, tablets. Um, so you can go in and you can play it on the keyboard. Yeah. But what drove us to do this, obviously, was create that physical yeah. control. So what you can now do when the jet there is finished, I'll show you how to do it, is we pair that with this. Yeah. So <laughs> the recreated spectrum becomes the controller for the apps. And then we wire this to uh, play the game. Ping them up on the big screen simultaneously. So, so what we're looking at there, we'll get a closer look in a set then, is an old spectrum and the recreated spectrum. <laughs> From here, I don't think you can tell. You could perhaps it's just slightly cleaner than you one. So before we have a quick look, then, so just just say well, why recreate the spectrum? <laughs> why? Yeah. <laughs> well, in a word, this is the reason. Yeah. For the last five years, we've been developing um, uh, apps which you can play on your yeah. iOS devices, other devices. Um, they all facilitate the play of spectrum games. Mm. The difficulty that they all have in the very, very clear when you look at this is that you've got these um, these virtual controls. Yeah. And you know, while you're play, playing a ready game, you miss the controller, there's no tactile feedback, there's nothing telling you um, that you're no longer controlling the game. So the whole purpose of that device is to recreate that original um, control of the yeah. game. Yeah, I mean that was the QAOP and all that was like, you know, was the, was the, key, the keys that you, your hand got used to when you played these games and it's just not the same playing it on, on there. Well, we'll sit down and have yeah. You can tell us yeah. how close do you think the recreation really is? Our button on the back here, power up the device, to pair it, you just pair the Bluetooth pairing button, hold it for a second, it comes on. <clears throat> That then becomes visible, and then once we're paired, we go back into our app. <clears throat> uh, you would have heard the loading sound there, probably not quite as noisy as it is. So we go back into the game. <clears throat> two settings on the back here, um, which call them the layer keys, and the final device they've been labelled A and B. Um, <coughs> label A is, is the uh, game mode, label B is the standard quality keyboard, so we should be in game mode here. So we then start the game up. And now we've got wireless control. Just like it was 1983 uh, again. Right. <laughs> and of course, beamed up to the yeah. larger screen simultaneously. And of course, all that's happening with no wires. So, so there's batteries in. Is, a bat char is there a rechargeable battery or is it? Yeah, in the back of the unit here, a rechargeable battery. So there's two AA batteries in yeah. here. Um, you can just pop those out to charge it up. Or also here on the back, we've got a micro USB, so you can simply charge it charge whilst it, uh, yeah. you're using it, yeah. and it will charge the batteries internally. That also enables this to be used as a wired keyboard. So if for some reason you don't want to use the keyboard wireless, then you can actually just get right. It. So you can plug it into. Could you plug it into a PC, or is it just? Yep. Yeah. 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 So it will do. Uh, we'll do that. And um, in addition, obviously, to enabling you to play um, games. You can also program. So I cut my teeth on programming on Spectrum. Would you like to? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> It'll save on under there, and then you can you can pass it. Effective. 
probably it works in the same way as the original machine. It's just that it's a sort of distributed computer these days, if you like. We rely on the processing power being in the screens around you rather than putting everything in here. It makes it a much more versatile system because you know new things come along, we can be disconnected to our TV. Yep, okay, alright, we'll be done. There we go, the essential <laughs> I used to spend hours programming that. Yeah.